now let's move to the more glamorous part of the business, which is investing behind brands. And you know, by that, uh, I'm not just I, I am, of course, referring directly to advertising and promotion behind these brands. This quarter, the, the spend on that front has come down by close to two percent. If I'm not mistaken, so less than twelve percent, right, at this quarter. Um, and what I gathered was that one of the key reasons for this is the fact that soaps and detergents, which is the largest contributor to your revenues, uh, you have to actually spend less on advertising and promotion in this space. And that's because of the competitive environment. What is happening here? Uh, I think there are many dimensions of competitiveness and competitive intensity. One of them is advertising intensity. The other could be promotional intensity. The third could be in pricing in the marketplace. Now, I think what you've seen is a reduction uh, or a tapering of or a tempering of some of the investment which was made in advertising uh, in this category. And why is that? Why did that happen? And I think it's happened because of a variety of reasons over the last several quarters that have gone up quite sharply. It could also have happened because these are the categories which have been subjected the most to the commodity cost increases. And in a, in a market where it had not been possible to fully offset all these increases through price increase, hmm, industry has found a way to manage the multiple uh, lines in the PNL to manage this business appropriately. So that's a possible reason why the uh, intensity of advertising in those two categories has come off a bit. When I say come off a bit, come off a bit sequentially, but it's by no means low. Right. Okay. The other thing I want to say to everyone who looks at these numbers on a quarter to quarter basis is uh, we have a certain principle which is unchanged irrespective of which quarter it is. But all our brands must be supported adequately, set to competitive levels, and in line with the goals that each brand has. So we have certain measures. We measure the share of voice each brand has. We measure how does that compare with respect to the share of market that we've got. And we look at it in terms of the goals that we've got, our innovation program, etc. Even in this quarter, all our brands, we've invested at competitive levels. Huh? In different quarters, that might require sometimes a 12%, sometimes it could be 13 or 14 I can't comment on that. That is really an outcome of the environment we find ourselves in that period. Last but not the least, it's a big area of expense. Hmm? And just like we subject every other cost in this business to scrutiny, we subject uh, advertising and promotion to scrutiny as well to maximize what we call the return on marketing investment. Yeah. So we've done a lot of work to remove some waste in this space. And the benefit of that is also getting reflected in the numbers that you see. In soaps and detergents, penetration is, um, uh, you know, at the highest levels possible, okay, if not 100%. In that case, is there a sense that HUL or a company like yours will not see this as a big, uh, you know, driver for growth going forward? Or is that again, you know, a hasty conclusion? I think it's a, it's a hasty conclusion at one end because uh, while penetration levels are very high, consumption levels continue to be low. And if I was to just uh, forget comparing India with uh, the Western world, even if you were to compare the consumption levels of laundry and personal wash with the Southeast Asian countries of China, we find that our consumption levels in the category like laundry might be about only 60% and personal wash may be at a similar level. What it says is that if India as it progresses and economically advances gets to levels like China in the next 10 or 15 years, some of these markets could more than double in this time period. So in many ways we are blessed to be operating in a context where we will see growth all around. Hmm. Uh, yes, it also means however that there could be other categories where we could see even faster growth. And uh, as we marry how India would develop, um, there is no doubt in my mind that soaps and detergents will grow and they are large parts and therefore they will continue to be very important for us. But the will their share come down? Yeah. And, the, sh the, and uh, the way we look at it is, mm. we don't have a point of view as to what the share should be. Yeah. But we do know mm. that in these categories we will see growth mm. and we are committed to delivering growth which is competitive mm. uh, in each of the categories that we are operate mm. in. But yes, it is true that personal care categories uh, being more nascent, 
uh, growing faster and uh, in many ways now uh, likely to take off given the rise in incomes and the changing consumer attitude. So that is the focus area in terms of categories? In, 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 in home and personal care? In personal care and yeah. of course building uh, a strong food business yeah. as we start moving forward. Yeah. So what are the trends in, the, in, in that personal care space? If I was to take one very significant trend going forward, irrespective of the economic uh, uh, challenges that we might see from time to time, that's going to be one of our trading and premium migration. Mm. And India becomes more affluent, aspirations are rising. Now I think gone are the days when you could segment consumers uh, easily from rich people behave in a certain manner and the poor people behave in a different manner. That's not true. Mm. So there's no need to struggle the pyramid in this in this case? No. This is just another example of what I started off saying. Yeah. I think struggling the pyramid is required because even as people are getting and aspiring for more, mm. yeah, there are several who are coming into the consuming mm. class for the very first time. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, but the nuanced approach is I'm referring to is the fact that some time ago you would have said when you go to rural markets and you go to really market places, carry only the basic stuff and go there. But you'd be surprised that even in those places, there will be consumers who are demanding face washes. What is the challenge or cost of servicing these aspirations? Because while these, this is happening and while these trends are emerging, the numbers may not be what... No, that's not. That's correct. And I think uh, the challenge is... Uh, Mm, both expect an opportunity and be a challenge. A challenge in terms of companies finding models to be able to service this aspiration. And that requires us to be innovative when it comes to the design of the business model, the cost structure, stripping out everything that the consumer may not be willing to pay for, uh, thinking through um, uh, really an understanding of the value drivers. Let me give an example. Um, I think there was a time, well, you know, the best example really would come from shampoos. Mm. The fact that over a period of time we have managed to get a business model that enables you to deliver a shampoo at 50 paise per hair wash, a good quality product at 50 paise. Mm. That we take for granted, but you can imagine what it would have taken in terms of innovation to come up with the really cost of the product, cost of the packaging, cost of the distribution. But I think it's reverse now, isn't it? You're not looking at it from what it costs you to make something, but what it costs you, what, what you can, what is the best yeah, price for it, and you then go that's back into figuring out happened. what your cost should so be. The only reason why this happened is because you start off with the consumer. Uh, What's the consumer want? What price can she afford? And challenge the rest of the system to devise ways to manage within that. And what make the money that the company wishes to make? So, uh, it's simple when we express it as an equation saying, uh, target price is what we start off, the margin is what we want, and therefore determine the cost which we can afford and find a way to deliver it. Now that's easier said than done. That's what we aspire to do in many cases. There are times when we succeed, there are other times when we don't.